Welcome Plantastics, have you ever heard of the Draco tree? Join us on this exciting journey as we discover the scientific curiosities that make this species such a wonder of nature. Let's get to it. Don't miss it. What is the Draco tree and where is it found? The Draco tree, or Dracaena Draco, is a tree endemic to the Canary Islands, Madeira and Cape Verde in the Atlantic. What does it look like? This tree has a unique and distinctive appearance. It has a thick, branched trunk, which can reach up to 20 meters in height. Its bark is rough and scaly, with shades of gray and brown. The leaves are long, narrow and green, grouped in dense clusters at the end of the branches. What does its characteristic trunk look like? The trunk of the Draco tree is thick and rough, with layers that peel away, revealing a smooth surface underneath. This unique appearance has made it a symbol of strength and endurance. What is dragon's blood? Dragon's blood is the resin that oozes from the trunk of the tree when it is cut or damaged. It has been used in traditional medicine and in the manufacture of pigments and varnishes. Why is it called Drago or Drago Milenario? It is known as Drago because of its red resin, which in ancient times was thought to be dragon's blood. The term millennial refers to the longevity of some specimens, which can live for several centuries. How does it survive in the wild? The Draco tree is an example of adaptation to an arid environment. Its leaves grow in the shape of a sword and are covered with wax, which reduces water loss through evaporation. In addition, its roots are able to extract moisture from volcanic and sandy soil. How does it adapt to adverse conditions? Its sword-shaped leaves and dense crown allow it to survive in harsh environments, such as high winds and drought, in coastal areas. What is its ecological role? The Draco tree is a pioneer in colonizing volcanic and arid soils. Its shade and structure provide shelter for various species of fauna and flora. In addition, its resin is a powerful natural healer that protects wounds and prevents infections. How does it store water? Its thick leaves store water to withstand periods of drought, making it an example of adaptation to arid climates. Subscribe. We don't want you to miss any videos. Let's continue with more curiosities. How does it reproduce? It produces tall inflorescences with fragrant creamy white flowers to attract pollinators. It then develops berries containing seeds dispersed by the wind. How does it reproduce sexually? The flowers of the Draco tree are hermaphrodite and are mainly pollinated by insects, which guarantees the genetic variability of the seeds. What is its longevity? Some specimens of Draco tree have lived more than 1,000 years, which gives a unique perspective on climate change over the centuries. Where is the thousand-year-old Draco tree found? The thousand-year-old Draco tree is located in the town of Icod de los Vinos, on the island of Tenerife, in the Canary Islands, Spain. This iconic tree, known as El Drago Milenario, is one of the most important natural symbols of the region and has witnessed centuries of history and change. How does it regenerate after a fire? The trunk of the tree is designed to resist fire, and can regenerate from its basal shoots after being damaged by fire. What uses was it put to in the past? The Guanches used the resin of the Draco tree for medicinal and ritual purposes. It was also used to make varnishes and natural dyes. Nowadays, its resin has antimicrobial properties and its pharmacological potential is being investigated. What is its conservation status? The Draco tree is protected in many of the areas where it is found. However, it suffers from threats such as habitat loss due to urbanization and agricultural activity. Degradation of its environment and illegal harvesting also pose risks. How does it remind us of the importance of conservation? The Draco tree is a reminder of the fragility and beauty of the island's unique ecosystems. Its existence urges us to value and preserve biodiversity and to take action to protect endangered species. What is its cultural significance? 
the Draco tree has a deep cultural significance in the Canary Islands. It was considered sacred by the Guanches, the ancient inhabitants of the islands. Its leaves were used in rituals and ceremonies, and the tree was believed to be linked to life and fertility. The Draco tree symbolizes the connection with nature and the ancestral heritage of the region. We hope you have enjoyed exploring the scientific curiosities of the Draco tree. Keep exploring. Stay curious and remember, there is always more to learn in the green mysteries of our world. Thanks for joining us Plantastics. Be sure to hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting channel for more exciting journeys into the captivating world of plants and nature. See you in the next episode.